Hello again YouTube and I'm back uh, with an update video. Alright, today was the day that I hooked up the panels. I had to take down each one of the panels. I had a, a help from uh, one of my good friends. Uh, he's my neighbor and also a re very good friend. Anybody that's willing to get up there on that roof with you um, and you know manhandle those panels and remove those microinverters and stuff like that, uh, that's that's a true friend uh, or somebody that you can call on. To, to help and, and a lot of you other uh, YouTube folks out there were willing to do the same thing so you know hey um, <clears throat> but um, anyway the thing is what I'm trying to do is is uh, energize this particular charge controller so I've uh, got the uh, the panels wired in uh, really simple I actually got red wire for positive black wire for negative and I wired them in series and I'm about to power it up so the first thing I'm going to do is Turn on the old batteries here for the disconnect. Okay, and it's going through its sequence. And it stopped right there because I have taken the liberty of draining my batteries. I ran them last night. So they're down to a 10% state of charge. It's 10% state of charge. The battery voltage is 24.6, uh, but with nickel iron batteries, you cannot go by voltage. Uh, as far as to, to determine the, uh, you know, how much capacity you've got. You can't, you just cannot do that. The MagnaSign inverter, the Magnum inverter, actually pulls about, eh, I don't know, 30 watts or so um, when in standby mode. This is just the inverter right here, just 0.3 amps. Um, yeah, that's it, just 0.3 amps. So you can do your mul multiplications there and come up with a, well, you know, how much it is. But uh, it's 0.3 amps. And uh, so right now it's telling me that, you know, hey, your batteries are, <laughs> you know, pretty low. So I'm going to energize the panels by turning it on. There we go. All right, we got it turned on. So let's find out what happens. Okay, stand by YouTube. Let me put on the uh, other cover. Hello again YouTube and this is just a brief introduction to this software that comes with or that you can download uh, from the manufacturer from Morningstar to uh, to program the uh, the uh, TriStar uh, charge controller and it's called MS View and these are some of the ver uh, the variables that I can actually or some of the things I can see uh, that come with the charge controller. These are some of the built-in things. Like for instance, if I want to see some things, I'll say new, uh, just check the state of the charge controller, I'll maximize that. Let's say I want to see the array voltage, not a problem, I'll just put it there so it tells me what the array voltage is. Um, I can take a look at the array current. Uh, let's see what the battery voltage is. And uh, let's see, battery terminal voltage to see if there's any difference. And the battery sense voltage. This is um, because this is uh, the battery voltage with those two wires, small wires, small gauge. I think like 12 gauge wires um, that allow me to, you know, it, it doesn't really have as much voltage drop and stuff like that. It just gives me a a, a more accurate uh, uh, reading of the battery voltage. And uh, you know, I can see okay what the battery temperature is. Okay, it's uh, 34 degrees Celsius, and you can do some translations of that to see what it, what that is in Fahrenheit. That's roughly eh, maybe around 90, 90 degrees or something like that. And to see if there is any faults and what my LED state is. And I can see, you know, some of the other things as well. Um, to program this, you know, you could say, like, for instance, it's green and flashing, flashing slowly, meaning... Hey, it's uh, you know, it's it's charging or charged. Uh, right now, I'm actually because it's uh, 5:52 in the evening. I'm actually using the grid to charge uh, my batteries. And right now, the array voltage is 252, but because the sun's going down, or you know, it's the it's behind some trees. Uh, obviously, uh, it may be, there may be some current there because it, all my panels are in series, eight panels in series. So, but there's not a lot of amperage. Um, so I could come over here and I can take a look at this TrackStar uh, MPPT setup wizard, and this kind of gives me the way into the way to program the charge controller here. 
So I will just simply click here to read the settings uh, from the charge controller, go through this little wizard here, connect to my charge controller because it's on my internal internet or internal network, and click finish. And there you have it. Uh, these are all the settings that are in my particular charge controller. Like for instance, it's a custom setting that, you know, it's 24 volts, not 48. And the regulation voltage, things like this, I'd say, hey, you know, I want regulation, I don't want it to get higher than 31.30. Uh, um, that's what I'm shooting for. Um, like for instance, also the uh, absorption time, I, I want it to charge for three hours and 30 minutes. And the absorption voltage, um, you know, which the absorption stage comes af after the bulk stage. And so I just say, hey, I want it 31.3 uh, volts. Um, and as you can see, all of these parameters here, uh, the float voltage, the absor absorption voltage, the absorption time, if there is an extension time to the absorption, the float time or the float voltage, all of these things can be programmed uh, in, with this particular unit. Um, and so to, to begin the programming process, again, it's through a wizard. So you just click on edit, verify that you have the correct charge controller and just simply go through each one of the screens. Um, programming it, it can be a little tricky. Um, you know, uh, it, it, you know, for instance, if you come here and you say, well, the float voltage, you're tempted, you know, if you've got a 24 volt system, you know, um, you're tempted to put, well, put 28. However, the way it's programmed, you have to, you have to program it as a multiple of two. So, for instance, this right here, or, you know, for instance, this is 14 volts, and this is typically for a 12-volt system. Uh, so what I have to do is say, okay, 14 times 2, that will equal my float voltage, which would be 28. And just going here, and it's pretty much the same thing. Um, if you want to equalize what the equalized voltage is, again, a multiple of 2. Um, so, or a, a division of two. So for instance, whatever this is, this is like equalization would be 30, uh, 31, uh, um, yeah, 31.3. So you divide that by two and you get that voltage. And so the high voltage disconnect and I want it to disconnect at 32 volts. So you say 32 divided by, by two will give you 16. Um, and reconnect at 15.65. So, you know, again, um, 31.3 divided by 2 equals 15.65. So again, it, you know, really, once you get the hang of it, you know, hey, it's, a, it's really easy. Again, these are, uh, you know, the transitions for my LED uh, status lights. And again, each one of these, um, the actual number is a multiplication of 2. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, okay, um, you know, you can go through and set the things that you want the system to store. Uh, set up your network, any type of no uh, email notifications that you want for alerts. Uh, you know, you get four types of not four different notifications, and this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. And this is the information as far as the LED lights. So if you see right here for my setting, it's custom again, 24 volts. So when it, when when my voltage is 27.56 or higher, then it's green. Um, or, or between 25 or between 26 and 25.1 and 27.56 or higher, then it's going to be green. Here it's going to be green and yellow if it's 25 or below. Um, if it's 22 or below, it's going to be yellow and red. And if it's 19 and below, 19 volts, then it's, it's, it's going to be red, uh, a solid red light. And once that is done, then you just simply click this button and it will send this information. It will program the charge controller. And the only thing that you have to do at that point is just uh, shut down the charge controller, just turn off the battery, connect the uh, disconnect switch, uh, the battery breaker, and then turn it back on. And that will uh, put the new variables in effect. And that's it. Um, there's a lot to, um, you know, learn about this. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can check here. Um, it also comes with a, you know, a web server. Uh, you can look at a web page and stuff like that. So for right now, it, it's a, uh, it's pretty good. I really, uh, you know, I'm really, I really like the fact that I purchased this thing, and um, so it's working out pretty good. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or, you know, uh, uh, anything else, just, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Okay, take care, YouTube.